uh, his judgment is not in his control. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the sole controller and judge. Maliki yawmiddin. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And going to uh, Karbala would never substitute for going to Hajj. Going to Hajj is wajib. Going to Karbala is mustahab. There is a difference between them. And what else did you say? Oh, he controls the cow? No, nobody said that. Yeah. Uh, there are some. There are some. Yes. Yes. No. 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 This is not. The same. The same. We have people in the Sunni community are so making wudu in their own Shia. The Muridin of the, some of the sects of the Sufism. So, as we have Sufism in Sunni, there are sure, sure there's Sufi Shia. There's Salafi Shia. No. No. This is wudu. Imam Hussein does not control the universe. No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in charge and Allah controls and the Imams are appointed by Allah but they are not, they don't substitute for Allah and His role. Yes, sometimes Allah gives permission to Isa with God's permission, I do this. Sometimes to Moses that hits with your cane, the stone, the rock these are all, or the, the sea, it will uh, depart onto two sides. These are miracles given permission. We believe that, I myself, I believe if I go to Imam Hussein, ask him for healing, with the permission of Allah is going to give me healing. Not independently, not independently. Hussein is not rivaling with Allah. Hussein is not the Lord, Hussein is not divine. Hussein is not the son of God. Hussein is Abdullah, slave of Allah, Abd. But maybe Allah, because Allah, when Allah says about Asal, honey, fihi shifa'un linnas. Fihi shifa, there is healing in it. And it's honey. It's honey made of what? Made of bee. Okay, the refuse of a bee actually. But it is, it is, but with the permission of Allah, Allah gives permission. So why Allah does not give permission when you go to Imam Hussein and ask him? Because you are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or the Prophet, or Imam Ali, or any wali, it could be any wali. It could be someone, your mother puts her hands on you and you get healed. Your mother is neither a prophet nor an imam, but with the permission of Allah. With His permission. Allah is in charge. When it comes to sustenance, risk, life, death, healing, anything, Allah is in charge. This is the core of Tawheed. This is the core of Tawheed. But sometimes there is Mindunillah and sometimes Bi'idhnillah. This is the difference, my friends, between Iman and Tawheed. Iman is when you believe that Isa did this, he resurrected the dead, but not by himself, bi'idhnillah, with the permission. Otherwise, Isa cannot even raise his hand without God's permission. Who is Isa? Isa has the power from Allah. Min dunillah is dangerous, is shirk, min dunillah, without. This is why Allah, when he refers to the aliha, he said those people, they worship them min dunillah. They put God aside. They took those aliha as their Lord. This is shirk. But when you believe in the sanctity of someone, whether a prophet or an imam, or wali, just wali, awliya wa sorry. But he's giving you with the permission of God, if God gives him permission. If God wills, like Ilmul Ghayb, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ilmul Ghayb belongs to him, but sometimes he bestows this gift on someone. Shafa'a belongs to Allah. Man dhal ladhi yashfa'u iddahu illa bi'ithni. But if he gives permission, then Prophet Muhammad will do shafa and the Imams. So it all belongs to Allah. They don't rival God. So Imam Hussein does not, does not control the universe.